Hey, this is Brant with Vintage Statements, and today we've got this nice dresser and two nightstands that we're gonna modernize. So follow along. All right, overall these pieces are in pretty good condition, no real issues. So what we're gonna be doing today is removing the hardware sanding them down and painting them well and also stain, staining so we're going to stain the tops and paint the bases here it's going to be a pretty cool set she found an uh, inspiration picture on Pinterest and well we're going to try to match it as close as we can so let's get the hardware off we'll check the subframes make sure they're all good and then we're going to start sanding which is going to take <laughs> quite a bit of time today but uh, we got to get it done so let's get started All right, finally got all those drawers out, and well, it's time to start sanding. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over all the pieces with 80 grit sandpaper, uh, scuffing up the top here so we can get, when we go to the 150, because this is a veneer top, I don't wanna go through it with the 80 grit, so we'll switch to the 150 up top. But we'll just scuff everything real quick with the, one, uh, with the 80 grit, uh, and then we'll come back with the 150, start sanding the top getting it prepped for staining. This is going to take quite a few hours, so if this project already looked uh, enormous and uh, overwhelming, well, it is kind of uh, that way, especially if you're wanting to stain a top. So it's 100 degrees out already, so we got to get this project done. Let's begin. All right, we got the top sanded, we got most of the sides done, sanded down, and now we can work on this edge. <laughs> this is where all that time in sanding is getting taken. So I've got my 80 grit, I've got 150 grit up here, and we're just gonna try to go around this groove as best we can. Around the edge, we can just kind of scuff this way. When we get into this groove line here, I fold the paper and I work the line around, and then I finish out whatever's uh, between what I've already sanded and that edge that I created and sand out the rest of that motion This line right here is even more difficult. You got to keep the paper sanded or angled and try to work as best you can around it Hopefully it comes out the top was easy to sand but man this whatever's on this side is is vicious So we'll get back to work and we'll keep working on it um, I also use a small screwdriver to get into that little groove, get that polyurethane out as much as possible, this is a great tool to have around too. Alright, we have spent all morning sanding and sanding and sanding and using tools and sanding 
we finally got it done. And then we vacuumed it out, we wiped it down so it's nice and clean, and now we can start staining the top. Today, we're gonna use a very thin flagstone. This is the stain color. I've got an old sock. We're gonna put it over both tops uh, of the nightstands and then the dresser. And then I think we're gonna call it a day today. It's getting pretty hot and uh, I just don't have the energy to paint. So maybe tomorrow we'll get this project finished up. But first, let's get the stain on. Alright, the stain is dried, now we can start our painting. And today we're going to use Bare Prime and Paint Eggshell. Uh, the color is silky white. So we're going to go over the drawers twice. Uh, the frame, we're going to start with one nightstand, we'll do the other nightstand, and then we'll start on that big project of that uh, <laughs> dresser. So let's get started. Wedge brush, here we go. So, one mirror frame still to go. We're gonna sand that down, put a couple layers of paint on it, and then we're gonna start scuffing all this, giving it that farm style look. So, almost there. <laughs> Let's get this thing finished up. All right, we sanded it down and uh, wiped it off so it's nice and clean. We flipped it over so we can do this inner groove here. 
And that's just what a lot of people forget to do is when they're painting a mirror, they just leave the mirror in and they paint. Well, what happens is that reflection shows the brown behind here and it makes it look, well, cheaper or not as quality done. So what we do is we pull the mirrors out. It's a lot more work, but it's worth it. We're gonna paint this edge so the reflection will be of the white, which matches the frame, and then we'll go from there. So one, two coats around this, we get a nice flip over, and uh, we'll do the other side with it. So let's get started. All right, it's all painted. We did two and a half coats of silky white, and now what we're gonna do is give it a farm style look, which means we're gonna scuff it up a little bit. Now, for your project at home, you may not want a farm style or scuff look, so you could skip ahead, wax, and seal the piece, uh, and go from there, but we're gonna add a little scuff to it. Not too much, this was based off of a Pinterest pictures uh, that the client sent me, so we're gonna to try to match it as much as possible. So, we're gonna pull the drawers, do the frame, do the drawers, we'll do another nightstand, we'll do the frame of the dresser, the drawers, and we'll start hitting that uh, newly painted uh, mirror frame too. So, a lot to do, let's get started. So we we're ready to start waxing our piece. We vacuumed it, we wiped it down after we got done sanding it. I'm gonna use this very thin finished wax, it's a natural. I'm gonna do the tops with one rag, and then I've got a white rag for the base, everything that's white. So that's how we're gonna get it done. So let's get started. here it is completed we sanded the whole piece down we sanded the tops really nice we put a flagstone stain on it from Verithane the base is a uh, silky white by Bear it's an eggshell then we went back scuffed it up gave it this nice farm style look vacuumed it wiped it down again sealed it with some nice wax and well here's the end product quite amazing transformation 
Uh, it looks just like the Pinterest pictures that we had given to us and I, hopefully the client loves this end result. If you like this project and many of our others, subscribe to our channel, like us on Facebook and Instagram, and well, leave us a comment or two. <laughs>